Imagine leaving everything you knew behind, like friends, family, and your culture, and going to a new country, to a new university. For 70 courageous students, this is their experience. They leave their lives in refugee camps to come and study in Canada through the Student Refugee Program with the World University Service of Canada. And like many people who find themselves in a new culture, the sponsored students will go through culture shock. But luckily, they have you to help them with their social and their cultural integration. The culture shock can be broken into four stages. First is the honeymoon stage, where everything is new and the changes are exciting and adventurous. The biggest surprise, the first minute I stepped out of the airport was the, the, the warmth that people, local, different local communities had. Uh, my biggest surprise was when the uh, SRP students got off the plane and uh, had to say goodbye to all their friends. It was surprising to see how many welcoming faces that I so, at the airport. At that moment at the airport, um, there's, they're also going to be saying goodbye to the people that they've worked with, for the, they, they've um, done the year-long preparation to come with. Everybody actually, not only my local community, but everybody was like cheering, welcoming me and it was the biggest surprise because I was feeling almost depressed because I, I was leaving my friends. My biggest surprise was um, with the food. The etiquette in school was different because I was used to standing up to uh, to talk to the teacher or the prof and I did that here and they asked me to sit down. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, they are tasteless and uh, not actually tasteless but uh, not the taste that I was used to. I thought I knew English back in Kenya but coming here the accent was completely different. That I, Many people might ask me twice or thrice, what did you say, sorry? The first day when I walked into a restaurant I went there and then I couldn't find anything and I came out without anything to eat. Uh, the weather. I had the assumption that Canada is always cold. In the city of Toronto, where subway was used as the main means of transport, I got stuck in the subway for almost three hours because I did not know the different transport that I had to take. But when I got here, it was extremely hot and I found that really surprising. After the excitement and surprise of the honeymoon stage, comes the critical stage, where some challenges can set in. Homesickness, misunderstanding and frustration, as well as emotions like anxiety, depression and being critical. Next comes the adjustment stage. More comfortable, more confident, things are more familiar and make more sense. It's easier to ask questions and be less critical. And finally, it's the integration, where the changes have been well assimilated and it's easy to work in both cultures. As a volunteer on the local committee, how do you best support the sponsored students through their social and cultural integration? The first thing to do even before the sponsored students arrive is to be prepared. So basically it's like doing research on the student in terms of culture. Before a student comes, you know their uh, religion. Like how long they've stayed in a country and how that has affected their way of life. So getting to learn all that I think is an important step toward knowing how to associate with them and treat them. So beyond being prepared, just be present for your sponsored student and check in with them. I think it's important to look at it preemptively, so not only the local committee being there earlier, because inevitably you will be homesick at least once. Um, so it, it's important to identify that really quickly for the local committee if they're there, um, which they need to be. So, you know, asking how you doing today, how's your, how's your month been, how's school, and just being constantly involved at like a personal level. Yeah, the talk is the main thing. Talking, you know, it mystifies everything. It unravels so many mysteries. How can you be sensitive to the refugee experience? And how can you show you care without crying? I've given people my account, my stories, and I always told them what I wanted to tell them because they gave me that chance. They always make it clear. Oh, Tell me what you're comfortable with. So just ask the person. Don't force <coughs> them to tell you their personal things if they don't want to. But if you make it clear that you're okay to hear however much they tell you, make it up to them to decide what to tell you. you they will feel comfortable to tell you what they want. How can you help the sponsored student make friends? The main task is that you're the student yourself who has help to do that, the connection with his friends. I believe that it's you who makes friends, but then the local committee guys should help you make those friends. Like, they can arrange something for you, maybe they can't tell you all. 
there are like a group of international students who are on campus that are doing this. Do you want to go there? It's obvious that you can make friends for the sponsored students. But who are some good people you can connect them with? Connecting students with the previous sponsored students is a good way to make sure that they know that they do the right thing. It's because they have gone through the same thing. Even the student, if you are on campus, you can also find a way and get friends from the internationals because they actually left their families back home also. Talk to your sponsored student and find out what they're interested in and what they're passionate about. Uh, your interests are very important, so you need to pursue them here. So, like now, um, for me, the friends I met you know, through soccer, you know, they give me so many connections. What about the bigger picture? It's equally as important to help the student build their own social network within the broader community. Right from the beginning, the local committees uh, prepare students to be independent. That's the first thing they do. One of the biggest things in our society um, is volunteering. So provide them resources if they don't have them already to get involved in the community. Develop a self-support system, something like that, which means like finding a church if they are Christian, finding a, a mosque if they are Muslim, or finding any other cultural or youth center, so that by the time things get busy on the local committee side, the student is already connected to other different uh, social groups that will help the student adjust or integrate easily. In that way, they'll really feel like they're part of the big picture. They'll feel like they're making a difference and they're part of Canada now. You play an important role in helping the sponsored student build their life here, so here are some things to remember. Be prepared and do your homework. Talk to the students. Be sensitive to their refugee experience and show that you care. Provide opportunities to the sponsored students to meet people and make friends, especially by connecting them with their interests or hobbies. Connect the sponsored students with other social support networks like places of worship or cultural groups. Lastly, be present and keep checking in to support the students. The challenge is um, somewhat cyclic, or maybe there may be a point where a student can go back to the cultural shock or to the um, excitement or to the critical part. We don't have to wait the student to wait for them to tell us, oh, we need this. For some students, it's uncomfortable to go to communicate with the local committee guys, so they have to be the ones to check on the student. We are not assuming that the student is fully settled, while well, they may or may be not settled. I would say SRP has really brought changes to many people's lives, and people should do their best to sponsor students because. We are talking of young students who come straight from the refugee camps, but they still come to Canadian colleges and universities and they make most out of it. It develops from um, being a, a mentor uh, for the students engaging in their undergraduate career into more of a friendship. And that friendship, uh, in the end, was more supporting for me than it was for the students themselves. And that experience, um, 